Welcome to Razor's Armory. Today we're going to be doing a review of some of the optics Sig Sawyer has come out with. I've got uh, two of the red dots. I've got the uh, Romeo 4 here and the Sig Romeo 5. The Romeo 1 and then I'll be doing the review of their scope which is the Sierra 3 BDX, which stands for Ballistics Data Exchange, and also the new rangefinder, the Kilo 2400 BDX. I did get the package uh, with both of these. The Sierra, as you can see here, is the 6.5 to 20 by 52, and it's on my uh, 700 right here. I guess we'll start with the small one here, the Romeo 1. It comes with this nice little cover. I do have it on my FN. Um, I didn't use a plate, didn't need one. As you can probably see, it's still dirty. As you can see, the dot is pretty clear. Uh, putting it on there was pretty simple. Um, I like it. It is dead on. Um, only had to do basically a slight adjustment to it. But um, it's a great sight. I've put at least 500 rounds through this gun with this on it. The only problem I have is, as you can see, all that dirt right there. That is from the gun itself being so dirty and being fired suppressed. So, other than that... It is a great gun and a great sight. I love the sight. Very nice, crisp dot on there. It does have adjustments here on the side to turn up the brightness or turn down the brightness. Do that real quick. It pulsates. Then you know that that's high as it'll go. And you can get it almost down to nothing. I shoot it outdoors so I leave it on a nice bright setting. And then you hold down the down button and it turns off. Like I said, when you're not in use, it's got this nice little cover. It fits right over and it clicks down. Get that out of the way. Go with the uh, Romeo 5 now. This is a nice little sight. I've got it on my Tavor. It does come with the cover. It's a little bikini cover. Fits over there. It's cut for how it fits on there. You can adjust it. It's very nice. Um, I had a Aim Pro on here, Aim Point Pro, but it was way too big for <laughs> this gun. You see, it says Romeo 5. Let's turn it on. Just hold down. It's got an up and down button here for brightness. And then these knobs right here control um, your elevation and windage. Over here is where the battery goes here on the side. So let's turn this on. See if we can get down there. I don't know if you'll be able to see. We'll be able to see down the scope. Oh, there it is. Nice, crisp dot. You have the same up and down elevation, or brightness, I'm sorry, as the Romeo 1. And same, again, just hold down the plus, plus button or the down button for five seconds, and it turns off. That's a very nice dot, red dot, and it looks really good sitting on top of the room, the Tavor. The Romeo 4 is on my SBR. Again, 
It's got this little bikini cover that it comes with. It has the plus and down for brightness, elevation and windage, and then again over here on the side is where the battery goes. It does use the 132 batteries. They've got a pretty long battery life. Um, like the aim points, they have a good battery life. I don't know if it is as high as aim points are, but they do have a good battery life. There's the dot. It is nice and crisp. Um, I've used this one a lot on this gun. I have not had a problem with it. I love both of them. And I use them extensively. Uh, I used this one, uh, the Tavor, uh, last August, or last October, I'm sorry, in a running gun with my cousin. It was uh, three and a half miles uh, with 25 pounds of gear on our backs, both of us. And we used that. Now, for this. This is the Kilo 2400 BDX, as you can see right there. This is the range, range finder. I don't know how good this is going to come up. But it has incline on it and it has last holdover like I said I got this along with that scope from SIG I paid $1,500 for both of them they came in a nice box I'll be doing a full review on them soon on how to set it up and everything it is Bluetooth, but I just wanted to give a review, quick review of it. It is sitting on my 308. You can actually turn it on by turning the knob down, and it tells you what range you could set it for. Mine's on 100. See if I can get the scope in here. You can actually see those two dots. Those actually move up and down, left and right, to tell you exactly, once it's zeroed and calibrated, where your bullet will hit using the app on your phone. I will show you the app on my phone. This is the app. You can put profiles in there and you can pair your rangefinder and everything and you can sight it in. Once you range your target, the whether it's high or low or the elevation and distance all the way out past 800 yards is taken from here sent to the phone and then all your information is then fed into here once these have been paired and then it's sent over to the scope and you can zoom in it's got a second plane fo uh, second focal plane so it does the rings move up and down so you can zoom in or zoom out and once it's all done, once all the information from here, including windage, uh, all that stuff is fed into here, the dots move to where your holdover is on your target. So if you have it on center and the dots three dots over, or one three three of the dots light, or one of the dots three dots over lights up, you need to move to where that dot lighted dot is on the target and that's where it will hit as you can see it's got ranges on here and it goes out to 500 yards but this gun 
Uh, I've already hit at uh, 600 yards with it. And as soon as I can get back out to the range, once it stops raining, I plan on taking it out to 1,000 yards. Um, I've been looking at doing some uh, long range shooting as well as some more of the running guns. Um, I was going to use the 300 Blackout, but I just think I'll stick with the Tavor. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to use. And uh, I've got the matching FN to match it, same color, so I think I'll stick with those two for the running guns. And then this one for the long range uh, precision shooting. So if you're looking for some scopes, um, like I said, this, these two together are about 50, they're 15 if you buy them from SIG. Um, Midway has them for about 1300 um, Very good. I love both of them. Um, I have a Bushnell uh, rangefinder. It doesn't go out as far as this. This is eight, uh, past 800 yards, they claim. Um, so I'll be testing that out soon to see. Uh, probably when I do the video for this uh, full complete review. Um, if you're looking for a good red dot, whether it's for your pistol, like my FN that's got a cutout for it, or maybe you're looking for something small for your Tavor, or an SBR. Look at SIG. Uh, the Romeo 5s here on Midway and Optics Planet are under a hundred, they're under $150. This one right here, the Romeo 1, uh, I bought it from Optics Planet. It was around $250, $240. It was on sale. This one, um, the Romeo 5s go on sale a lot. You can find them. I think I just looked on Optics Planet right now. They're $144, I believe. The Romeo 4, um, they're going for somewhere around $200. I do like the way they look. They do both come with risers like this. Um, for the Tavor, for the Tavor, this one's a really good riser. Um, this riser, I like it. Uh, it actually co-witnesses good with these sights right here. So when I flip them up, I can co-witness really good with them. So I like having them. I like having that riser right there on this one. Um, it's a really good scope. Um, these bikini covers actually do good on here. Oh, got it on backwards. If that part goes on front, I think. Maybe not. But they're really good. They keep the lens from getting scratched. Um, the BDX does not come with flip covers or front covers. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, I have to find something that will fit onto the front so I can keep the lens from getting scratched. All of these have clear glass on them and they are really very accurate. Um, these two, once they were on, I just sighted them in using a uh, boresight uh, laser inside the barrel and use my uh, flip up sights to co witness it with the red dot. So, and then once I used put a suppressor on, I left the flip up sights aligned to without a suppressor and with the red dot if I have a suppressor I can turn it on so there is a shift a point of aim or a point of impact um, with the um, silencer on both of them so what I've done is this one has flip up sights as well right here on the back of the tour that is done without a suppressor the red dots are used with a suppressor so there's no problem with point of impact uh, using the suppressor. This one, um, it's only shot with the suppressor. So once it was silenced, once it was sighted in with the suppressor at 100 yards, I left it with the silencer on there. So that's why I don't have another scope for this or change. But if you're looking for a good scope, check out BDX. You can find just a regular lower power for around 500 bucks. This one, just the scope itself, is around seven, probably 7.99, I believe it was. 
these, this one's around two, this one's around 240, 250. This one you can find it for under 150 bucks. So, thanks for watching Razor's Armory. And if you're looking for a good red dot, check out SIG. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.